Chat Cafe, where real students are honest about some of the everyday issues they face. I'm Imani Hinton, your host for today, and I want to find out what makes social media so addicting. Joining us today, we have social media specialist Kalia J here to share her views of experience with social media. To start off, I want to ask you guys a question. What do you, what's the first thing you do when you wake up? I check my messages. The first thing I do is check my messages. Who's been hitting me up? Yeah, that's true. Most times, I'll, um, uh, after I turn off my alarm, I'll ask Alexa to be like, Alexa, Period. read my messages. Alexa, what's my notifications? <laughs> I mean, I check if that special someone, <laughs> uh, you know, if they text me. Because I put it on do not disturb so I can sleep. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I also check my messages. I always <laughs> check my messages. This is the first thing I look at. Then I go on Instagram. Mm. That's where I'm going. Because I need to see how many views is popping, how many <laughs> likes I got. That's what I'm on. I'm on Instagram. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I check my, my Instagram first. Well, I check the Bible app first. You know, yeah. I got to start yeah. my yeah. 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 And then I'm on Instagram seeing how many people liked or messaged right. me overnight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for me personally, I open up, I open up Snapchat because I send my streaks and then I go to sleep. So I wake right, up right. and I gotta open them up from when they sent me one back, mm -hmm. and then I go Instagram and see what people posted for today or how people's days are starting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. So we all have moments when we're supposed to be focusing on something productive, but we are using Instagram or Snapchat instead. Why do you think we get so consumed in social media every little chance we get? I feel like we're so consumed in social media because we're, we're not only concerned with like what we've been posting and like what, like what we've been doing, but also social media can be entertaining. Like on Instagram, I'll be on one video and then I'll branch off to another video and then before I know it, I'm on social media or Instagram or Snapchat for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm in, I'm in like a lot of clubs. And so I have to run like all these social media pages. So I have to make sure like, okay, who saw this? Like who knows we have a meeting today? You know, so I also like kind of use it for business, but That's of course true. social. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like a lot of the times you, you just be looking at something and then you don't realize that you're on your phone. It's yes. like that yes. rabbit yes. hole. You, look at, you yeah. just go through and you're like, like, whoa. Yes, or one time like I'll be on, like someone will text me and then I'll see an an Instagram notification right. and I'll just yeah. go over to Instagram when I didn't yeah. even plan on going to Instagram, you know? Mm -hmm. So like Ayana, social media is a job for me. So I'm on social media at work and then I run someone's cooking page, but then I run my beauty page and then my regular Instagram. <laughs> and so like it becomes very time consuming. You yeah. can take up like at least 20 hours of your day. Like you're waking up in the middle of the night to check your phone yes. and mm -hmm. make sure the posts are popping and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. How hard is it for you to physically be away from your phone? Oh. Very hard. Very. <laughs> it really depends on the day. Like if I know I'm going, like if I'm texting someone about something important, then I'm I'm going to be addicted to my mm -hmm. phone. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, like when I'm just trying to have a chill day, I, actually no, I can't even say that. It's very <laughs> hard. It's like because you know my phone has a lot of things on it that I need, you know. Mm -hmm. And social media is I'm not saying I need social media, but mm -hmm. it helps, you know. Yeah. Like when I don't want to when I don't want to do something, I go on social media. Mm -hmm. yeah. See the thing about social media, you also got to look at it as. Not only with social media, you check out like other people and see like how you're doing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of group chats that you can have with yes. your friends yes. on social yes. media. Yes. So <laughs> it's like if I'm away from my phone and a whole bunch of people say up to like 20 people, like all my friends are in a group chat having a discussion on something. I don't want to be left out of that. Yeah. And then when we mm -hmm. get to school, I'm the only one that's not aware. So yeah. mm -hmm. social media is like. Without social media, you're kind of like the oddball. Like you're the one that's yes. like just kind of left out in the shadow. So and so, if you're separated mm -hmm. from it, you want to know like what am I missing? So yeah. it's, it's really tempting yeah. to go back on it. I know for me, like about two weeks ago, I like felt myself being so like attached to social media, what people were saying, like all this stuff. So I was like, I need a mental detox. So I took like about two weeks away from social media and honestly, like I feel better. Like I don't need it as much, you know, so. I mean, for me, like I'm an athlete, so I'm allowed to take a lot of time away from the electronics and everything like that. Because, you know, yeah. practice, yep. hour and a half, two hours, a game, mm -hmm. hour and a half, it's no biggie, you know, you focused on that. So you yeah, don't feel like anxiety when you're yeah. away from your phone I mean, at practice? It depends. Are you thinking about your no, notifications? Not really, honestly, I'm just like really? making jokes <laughs> on the no, field and stuff. Yeah. For me, for me, if I'm not busy, 
and I'm, I'm just gonna start thinking about my phone. If my phone's not <laughs> with me, true. I'm gonna start thinking about the notifications. Like, who could be texting me? Is there a possibility <laughs> something posted? Somebody posted something? Am I missing what's going on? Yeah. Or if, like, if you miss a day of school, it's like I have to get on social media. I have yes. to know what people oh, are doing because sure. I'm not there to physically find out. Exactly. So I have to know. I know yeah. since like I have an Android, I can't FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of times I use my phone to like video chat. You know, and so. I feel like I feel like social media and like Instagram and Snapchat it has become part of like our daily routine. Yes. Like we've become yes. so used to it, and it's like a bad habit. Not necessarily bad, but it's become like a habit to us to go on it. So when someone says like, "Can you separate from it?" Well, that's like changing my routine, and we're kind of not accustomed to that. Exactly. Yeah. So let's talk about the times we have formed connections on Instagram and Snapchat that have turned into real life relationships. Because I know we've all been there. <laughs> Oh, you know this family? Like, there's this thing on Instagram called, or just, you know, in general, it's called a spamily. It's like all these people you meet through spams. You know, there's your, your main. <laughs> never heard of that. Yeah. Your it's like a thing that. That. <laughs> There's a Rista, your real Instagram, and then a Finsta, fake Instagram. Yeah. Like, I know I have a, a, other than my other business business accounts, I have my main account, which only has, like, what, two pictures? And they're prom pictures. And then I have my spam account where I just post about things I'm interested in, or if I see a funny meme that relates to my life and other people's life. It's really like a newfound thing with like high schools. Like a lot of people have finstas or yes. spams where they post like what's like a more um, intimate kind of yeah. thing with yeah. your close friends. So on these families, yeah. do you know the people or are they people? Sometimes, you don't know? sometimes. like when we're talking about like new relationships, like you meet like new people and like mm -hmm. you post like kind of like personal, not too personal, but personal things that's going on in your life. And when you post those things, like other people can kind of relate to that, people who you've never met. Exactly. And then that's how yeah. friendships are kind of born from it. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. Well, yeah. for me, yeah. my Finsta is private. And I only add people that I know. Because yeah. okay. my, my main page is my public page. Like, you mm -hmm. can search me up. I'm Amani. Hi. <laughs> but, like, but like, for my Finsta and stuff, that's my private page. So, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I mean, I think it's like a cool thing, too, because I'm like friends with people that are across the world, like yeah. people in Italy and things like that. Like when oh, I went wow. there over the summer. Man. Like I was able to connect with people and actually meet right. up with them there because no, yeah. they, they're like locals. They know what they're doing, where they're been places to go. And what's so cool. cool about it is that you still stay connected exactly. with them even exactly. when you come back home. True. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've built relationships through Instagram too, like with photographers or people like yes. in Texas, and then now I have them supporting my business, yes. so they'll buy things so. from me. So it it's very beneficial when you can mm -hmm. create those healthy relationships. Yes. On it's the same Instagram. thing. Yes. At my job, we, um, during when I started working there during the summer, we were, you know, just getting to know each other, and then we made a group chat on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And so, because, uh, like, we were asking, you know, questions about in, um, what we did that day, or just if I had questions, or if anyone had questions. And so, you know, now we still stay connected. So who do you post for? What is your purpose? Well, like, I guess, like I said earlier, since I have a, a lot of the pages I do are for my clubs. I, most of the time, I post for, like, people in those clubs, or people who are members, like, for a step team. We, mm -hmm. post, we post updates, we post fashion show things. Um, for Black Awareness, we post when the meetings are. So there's a lot of different things. Um, for me personally, on my like Instagram page, on my main one, I post for me. Like if I think like I mm -hmm. look good, like I'll post it like, yeah, I wanna share that, you know? But um, for my YouTube, I Ooh. post, Ooh. no, 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 for, <laughs> no. <laughs> But I post like my skills video for oh. colleges to see for oh. softball, so like, Personally, like on my Instagram, I post for myself too. But like, if the picture doesn't get the likes that amount or the likes that it deserves, I'm gonna delete it <laughs> really? because I just feel like I'm too cute for the, like my pictures right. not to get that much. So I post for myself, but I also post for people to see who I am, like see. to see me, my different styles, my different techniques, my different talents, all that. I used to be like that, but like, if you really think about like everything and like the spectrum of things it really doesn't matter you know like you should post mm -hmm. on social media for yourself you yeah. know like if you like that picture post the picture who cares if certain someone doesn't like it certain someone doesn't see it you know you should post on social media for you because you like the picture and yeah i mean like for me i want to say i post it for myself because like you know if i look good period yeah. like right <laughs> but, um, i know a lot of the times it's more about like that instant gratification, yeah. like mm -hmm. the amount yeah. of likes that I'm able to get. I mean, it kind of just shows your popularity, you know, yeah. on social yeah. media and things like that. You know, that's a good part of it. You know, I like it. I like the likes. I like the people <laughs> who see it. Yeah. Get out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to agree. Like, I post it for myself, but when it comes down to it, 
We want the notifications. Yeah. We want the right. likes. Like, <laughs> you don't post to social media unless you're like in the back of your mind. You wanted yeah. people to look at it yeah. and to like the picture. So yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I was also gonna agree. Like, for me, like I don't. I'll make like a whole bunch of pages cater to like what hobbies I like. So, I like to play basketball, and I like people to see me play basketball. So I'll make sure when I make that account. I'll make it strictly all about basketball and just being an athlete. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like it all just depends on what you're trying to who you're catering your page to. Yeah, so true. sometimes, yeah, you can post about yourself and everything, but I feel as though you'll probably get more recognition during a certain group. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So let's look at some of our friends on social media that have shared insight on this topic. At why they dot mad with two Ds. They said, me, help me with confidence and socializing. Yeah. At beach.bug, they said, things I'm proud of, mainly for myself. At Roa Hassan, they said, a lot of times it's for me, and it helps boost my confidence and learn to accept myself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you see that on social media, people agree with us too. Like, <laughs> it's for yourself, and it helps you feel good when you know that people are liking your yeah, pictures right. and your videos. It just gives you the extra boost that sometimes that we need. But the downfall to that is that if you go into posting a picture with those expectations, like mm -hmm. I hope someone likes it, but when you don't get those likes, then you kind of feel bad about yourself, like, oh, maybe I don't look good in this right. picture. Mm -hmm. Like maybe right. like I'm not, you know, I'm not as pretty as this yeah. person who's getting all these likes. Oh, yeah. So that's kind of like the downfall to social media. It kind of can affect your mental state a little bit. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. How can we use social media and enjoy our time wisely without losing too much of the daily real world activities? Well, there's a lot of things. You could turn off your phone, mm -hmm. put it on the charger mm -hmm. if you need to, go outside, play, walk your dog, mm -hmm. walk yourself, like walk your friend. <laughs> right. There's so many things yeah. you can do without your phone. Mm -hmm. like, like I said, I have an Android, so I can't really do <laughs> a lot of things. So you know what I do? I find things to do on my own. I believe in creative boredom. Like if I'm bored, I have to be doing something at all times. Mm -hmm. Even if it's not on my phone. You know, my, my phone, my world, I try to make sure my world does not revolve around my phone. Mm -hmm. I Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I would also agree with that. Um, I feel as though, like, when I have conversations with my mom, she'll be like, oh, well, you need to get outside more. You need to go hang out with your friends. Back then, like she was telling me, like, when she was younger, they didn't have all these right. phones and computers mm -hmm. and video right. games. So they all were just hanging around, like, with each other, all the neighborhood kids. They would, like, go outside, play tag, maybe hide and go seek and stuff like that. And I feel like we lose that connection with the phone. Mm -hmm. So. I feel like without the phones, not like eradicate phones in general, but I feel like just taking some time away from mm -hmm. our phones, we can really connect with our friends and everything. Yeah. Well, we are all out of time. I like to say thank you for y'all for joining me on this episode of the Chat Cafe. And stay tuned for our next show and make sure to follow us on BCBS TV on social media for more episodes.